Never before has one so thoroughly controlled a sport that even his fiercest opponents can see he is the greatest. The Rosario boy has finished his football career. He has achieved everything, has nothing left, and his only objective at this point is to motivate the following generation. Guys, the truth is that Lionel Messi will never come again. Messi was born in Rosario, Central Argentina, on June 24, 1987, and it was obvious the youngster was unique as soon as he was exposed to football. Because of his grandmother, he began playing football with Grand Ole FC at the age of four. She fought for him to get into the team, but his talent made him become a neighborhood fan favorite. By the time Messi turned 11, Newell's old boys came calling. They'd seen Messi play and were convinced he was the next big thing to come out of Argentina. And at Newell's, Messi was turning out to be a revelation. The coaches were so impressed, they were convinced he was going to be a star. The only problem was that Messi wasn't growing like the rest of his teammates, and after the doctors and his parents got involved, they realized Messi had a growth hormone disorder that didn't just make his growth stunted, it was also affecting his life. At that moment, Newells weren't sure they'd be able to handle the cost of the treatment. It looked like his case was going to become extremely difficult, until Barcelona got involved. They'd been watching Messi and knew he was worth the risk. So in exchange for saving his life, they agreed to deal with Messi to come to La Moja, and as soon as he set his foot on Spain, he was set to conquer the country. At La Meja, Messi's development was rapid. He continued to impress at every age level, so much so that by 2003, Messi was already mixing it with the first team. In the early years, he was in and out of the team, but pretty soon, it became clear to the coaches that they couldn't keep Messi out. The guy almost started a war between Spain and Argentina, just to see which national team he would play for. Messi chose Argentina in the end, he won the Under-20 World Cup in 2005, after being voted as the best player. He finished the tournament with six goals in seven matches, including both goals in the final, to seal the win for Argentina. Messi came back and continued to improve even more. By 2006, he was already a regular in and out of the first team, and it was injury that prevented him from making the Barcelona team that won the Champions League in Paris in 2006. But no matter how long he was out for, it's almost as if Barco was prepared to wait for him. And you can't really blame the club, especially after Messi dropped goals in performances like this. At Barcelona, he was like nothing they'd ever seen before. And at Argentina, it was like watching a younger version of Maradona play. Messi continued to improve even further, and he showed he wasn't just all talk. In the big games, he could deliver too. He scored a hat trick in his first El Clasico game versus Real Madrid at the new camp. There was no doubting it, the kid was talented. It's almost as if he'd been ordained by football royalty himself. His first goal for Barcelona, he was assisted by Ronaldinho, the club's main man, and Ronaldinho believed in Messi's talent so much, he saw something the rest of the world hadn't seen yet, and told Kobe Bryant, if you think I'm good, see this kid over here. One day he will be the best in the world. Yeah, Ronaldinho wasn't kidding, he'd seen the future. In the summer of 2008, Barcelona decided to make a decision, and Messi was the centerpiece around it. See, the club had gone the previous season tropiless, and the attitude and general intensity levels at the club were low. Barcelona appointed the B-team coach, Pep Guardiola, as the new manager of the senior team. Having worked with Messi in the past, Pep knew just how talented Messi was, and he decided he was going to build his new team around Messi at the expense of Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho left, Messi took the club's iconic number 10 jersey, and in the first season that followed this, Messi was unplayable. That goal in the Champions League final against Barcelona was the crowning moment. He played 51 games for Barcelona, and scored 38 goals and 19 assists that campaign, and this was enough to see him crowned as the best player in the world at the end of the year. His first Ballon d'Or, 2010 saw him add a second to the assortment. While Messi was a member of the Argentina side that competed in the World Cup in South Africa, his performance was generally underwhelming. He did not score during the competition, and he witnessed his country lose to Germany 4-0 in the quarterfinals. Messi went back to Barcelona and carried on his excellent play. His stats increased. He made 55 appearances for Barcelona in 2011, scoring 53 goals and providing 27 assists in all competitions. Incredible figures. By year's conclusion, Messi had won a third Ballon d'Or. Guys, Messi is now entering the 2011-12 season. During this time, he completely revolutionized football and set numerous records in the process. 
Now the context of Messi's 2011-12 season was in the context of a 24-year-old being talked about as the greatest of all time. Once this sinks in, there's no going back. He became the first La Liga player to hit 50 goals in a season. He had 22 multi-goal games where he scored at least twice, scored three hat tricks, bagged four goals twice, and even managed to put five against Bayer Leverkusen in the Champions League. His 50 goals in the league were more than 61 out of the 98 teams in Europe's top five leagues. Messi had a grand total of 73 goals in 60 games and hit 29 assists in the process too. In their first season, they won another triple, a second in six years for Messi. The MSN contributed to over 120 goals that season and he took on the bulk load. With 58 goals and 31 assists in 57 games, Messi was making out of this world numbers seem completely ordinary. This free kick was out of this world, and he almost single-handedly took Barcelona to a third triple. They won the league, but unfortunately lost to Liverpool in the Champions League semi-final second leg, in that infamous 4-0 defeat, as well as losing the Copa del Rey final at home to Valencia. Messi's brilliance was enough to earn him the Ballon d'Or again and make it his sixth, but there was no hiding the fact that he'd done a carry job on Barcelona, and in 2020, it became evident for the world to see. That 8-2 defeat to Bayern Munich should have been the final straw for Messi. He wanted to leave, but the club managed to convince him to stay, and he had good reason to. In 2021, Messi finally won big with Argentina. After trying for so long, he won his first trophy with the national team, and captained Argentina to its first Copa America in 28 years. Coming back from his triumph, Messi was all set for his contract renewal at Barca. But unfortunately, this never happened. The club couldn't renew his contract thanks to financial issues in the background. And like that, Messi's stay at Barca was over. He dominated throughout his stay at the club. Apart from becoming the club's all-time top scorer, he finished as the all-time top scorer in La Liga history, with 474 goals and 216 assists in 520 games, 129 Champions League goals for Barcelona, 672 goals for Barcelona in total crazy numbers. Messi's next move was to Paris to join PSG, and while his time at the club wasn't as memorable as he'd have wanted it to be, with Argentina, Messi went one step further and won the one trophy he'd been searching for all his career. He didn't just win it, he won the Golden Ball Award and was crowned as the best player in the competition too. Messi added two more Ballon d'Ors in 2021 and 2023. The latter years was a special one for him. After leaving PSG, it looked like Messi was all set for a sensational return back to Barca, but he decided his European chapter was over, and his next destination was a trip to the States. You see, when he signed for Inter Miami, many believed Messi was at the club on holiday, and to just see out the final years of his career, but in reality, Messi was here to become part of a project at the club. He came on as a sub in his first game versus Cruz Azul and with the team needing a goal to win it in the dying stages of the game, Messi came clutch. What a guy, Messi finished his first season with his new club, with 14 goals and 11 assists in 15 matches. He's aged now, but even at that, he was still as magnificent as ever. In the summer with Argentina, he captained the national team to a second Copa America title. It's back-to-back -back now, and if the rumors are true that he might play in the 2026 World Cup, Messi could do the double at both international trophies and cement his status as the greatest the world has ever seen. I knew he was the GOAT ever since he hit that subscribe button.